Okay, good day. This is Mr. Orvin, your uh, IT teacher at Geotech Foundation IT, of course. We're teaching IC3 Module A Computing Fundamentals, lesson number six. Okay, and this is uh, all about cloud computing. So let's start by sharing our screen. Okay, and our presentation here, lesson number six, cloud computing. Uh, lesson number six is the same as lesson number five. It's also a short lesson, so expect it to be fast. Okay, unlike our previous lessons. Okay, so what are the objectives here? Understand the benefits and characteristics of cloud computing. Create and use cloud accounts to store, manage, and share files. Describe different types of cloud applications and configure mobile notifications. Okay, uh, the concept, cloud computing works with host and clients. Um, when you say cloud, um, what do you think about that? Okay, this is the explanation to this, why it was cloud. Um, the internet actually, when you draw that in a diagram, uh, you're just going to throw it as a cloud, okay? So this is where it came from, okay? Because the whole concept of where is this cloud, we do not know, okay? So like when you are thinking in cartoons or in magazines, in, uh, in, in comics, or I don't know, in books, when a person is thinking, there's a cloud there. So it's a thought, it's a representation of virtual. So cloud is virtual, virtual drive, virtual uh, Microsoft Word, okay? It's not really on your computer, it's somewhere out there, okay? It's a hosted service, okay? It's, pro uh, it's, it's provided by a server located outside your own net network, so it's not gonna, uh, for example, Geotech is an example. We're acquiring or we're obtaining this uh, OneDrive or uh, your office.com, whatever software that we're using online, okay? We have that and it's from Microsoft and it's not here at Geotech. It's not even here in Oman, it's somewhere out there, okay? Uh, for, of course, it's, it, it's, it's from the US. Okay, there are different uh, uh, services, uh, classifications of the cloud. We have the software as a service, we are using that uh, as a staff and as a student, okay? And that, that is the office.com, you log in there and then you can access those things. So example are this, so when you log into office.com, this is what this is all about. And go to home, okay? So this is uh, different softwares online okay at the left side you can see that okay or here you can click and you can see this onedrive outlook word excel so these are the different uh, applications in office 365 okay so let's proceed infrastructure as a service what is this uh, the cloud also they can lend you or an organization, for example, you want your servers not to be in the campus, not to be in your company. So they can offer you, okay, I have this, uh, I'm offering infrastructure as a service. So that means, so that means you do not have to buy your hardware in your campus. You just need to hire us. All you need to have is your connection to the internet and that's it. Okay, you can save whatever you want. You can uh, run servers, okay, inside okay through this cloud that we are hosting okay platform as a service is the same thing uh, although this is more on developing for example a, a software and applications and so on you do not have to download the applications on your maybe on your computer uh, you just need to access it from there and then you can do all the programming developing of software and so on and so forth platform as a service what are benefits of cloud computing? Reduce hardware costs, for example, uh, yes, if you're installing a lot of software on your computer, most likely you're gonna need a uh, more hardware. Uh, servers, infrastructure as a service also, those are the things that you invest on uh, buying the hardware. Okay, it's always the latest versions, the developer will take care of that, 
24-7 access. That means anytime you want, you can access your drive, okay? Uh, but can twenty four seven, but we do not have a control. And like this, you're paying for it. Okay, so therefore you have a control on this, okay? Okay, scalable storage capacity, that means scalable means you can increase, you can decrease, okay? Scalable means you can increase the storage capacity. Local access to user files, of course, built in backup and high security. So you don't have to worry about losing your data because of cloud computing, it's always available, okay? If something happens, then of course, it is already agreed when you subscribe that there is always a backup there. Whatever they're doing, there's always a backup. And high security, of course, accounts, username and passwords and so on. Okay, all cloud related services are associate, associated with an account. One account can access all services. So we can have that one drive, for example, of office.com then all you have to do is to log in with that same account that you're using at Geotech. Same with Google or the Gmail. You have a Gmail account, you can access a YouTube account, you can access the Google Drive and so on. Accounts can support and manage connected services. Now, how to manage your own account? Most cloud accounts provide a central place from which you can manage your account. So sign in security, personal info and privacy and account preferences. You can do that in your Google. This is an example that what you're seeing here. We're gonna see that later on. Okay, now let's go for some of these examples. Cloud storage on Google Drive. Okay, example of this, uh, which is like the OneDrive folder or the Google Drive. Google has their Google Drive. So let's try to open a new tab. Of course, I already am inside Google. I have an account. You can see that this is my account, ORBS. So let me just go to the different applications. You can see here, different Google apps. YouTube is actually a Google app already. Gmail, and let's see the OneDrive, uh, OneDrive, Google Drive, okay? So same environment as you can see from my, I'll go to OneDrive also. Okay, so most likely they're the same. Okay, you have, you can uh, create your folder. Okay, new folder here. Yeah, Google folder also, uh, OneDrive folder also. So these are my folders. Here it's also a folder. Sample folder, create. Okay, you can see here I have a sample folder, I have a wedding folder, oh, I have a wedding folder. What did I do here? Oh, these are my pictures. Very good. Okay, so this is an example. I already have something on my Google Drive. Okay, uh, so how to access, of course, you have to si sign into Google, click the Google Apps icon, then click Drive. Okay, so uh, if you're already logged into your Gmail or anything on your Google or whenever you have a Google Chrome, okay, it's advisable that you have, you can log in. From here, you can see that. Okay, you click that, I have, uh, I can log out here and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is my Gmail account. Okay, so that means whenever I want, I want to YouTube, YouTube, I want to open YouTube. Okay, this is already my account. I can upload my computer here. Oh, sorry, I can upload my uh, videos on YouTube. Okay, so let's proceed. 
working with content on drive so you are uh, simple as moving it okay renaming and so on so you have your my drive the one i clicked earlier and you have those uh delete and so on and so forth share and so on and so forth okay you can use the toolbar buttons to work with the selected items okay organizing content on google drive the root folder is named my drive create folders in my drive and move files as needed so you can have it as i've shown again in one of our example earlier so it's my drive here are your folders okay so you can right click move to okay i can put it inside the wedding folder and so on okay it's an example okay we can have an apps for the local folder so meaning in your computer if you're using windows this is how it looks like okay so you can have your own google drive here inside your file explorer so let me see if I have a file explorer. Yes, I have a file explorer. So I don't have a Google Drive, but we have a OneDrive at the German University of Technology and oh, in Oman. So where you're gonna see that it's the same concept. Uh, so Drive for PC app adds a local Google Drive. So you can save your file there. You can sync them so that wherever you are, you can access the same file. And then when you open your computer again, then you can, um, uh sync it again and that's it it's gonna be downloaded on your laptop okay sharing cloud files can be shared with specific people you just need to like uh type in their email address you can share it via sharing link so just get the link of this folder and share it to them because uh you can do that that means you're permitting them to access your folder if you give give them link or share a file or folder publicly so anybody can access it if you do that of course you're not secure but they can see it okay okay google drive mobile apps so you have your mobile devices you can uh, download the applications and uh, same thing like you have a laptop it can sync on this cloud uh, google google drive okay it will sync that means whatever you have there you can access anytime you can download it also in, on your mobile device okay my google my drive google photos as i said one drive this is actually we have that already i've shown you that in office.com okay when you log in now you have your one drive here okay this is how it looks like so most likely you know how to use it because we've done this we already used this even in our online classes okay cloud storage is of course on onedrive is hosted by microsoft so it's the same thing i've shown you in my file explorer i have that uh onedrive here okay so these are the different files and folders you have seen earlier in here Attachment scene and recording, same attachment scene and recordings, and so on. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, uploading, organizing, and downloading content. Okay, as you select files or folders, different commands become available. The commands are the new, the upload, the share, it will all be here on the toolbar. Uh, to select a file, point the mouse pointer at the file until a small circle appears in the upper right corner and then click circle. So you can see that here. Uh, click and it's checked. So you can see all this on the toolbar. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, local OneDrive, I've shown you already. So it will sync. Uh, it can be automatically set up to be automatically syncing or uh, you can sync it manually okay web apps okay i've shown you also the different application we have the calendar sharepoint powerpoint um forms sway uh those things are available here okay i've shown you that office 365 okay so this is it it's also here all apps 
calendar, class notebook, Delve, Dynamics 365, Excel, Forms. Okay, so these are the different apps. Okay, sharing documents on web drive. Again, as I said in Google Drive, you can get a link or choose an email within our organization. That's what you're doing. You, you've done in, in sharing module A require module B requirements. Remember? So it's either you email it to me, okay, choose an email or just get a link. But most of the time when you share it in our organization at Geotech. Geotech, you're just going to click that and look for the email address and automatically it will be sent to the email address to Outlook, okay? Okay, mobile apps in OneDrive, available for Android, iOS, and Windows 10. Install the app and sign in to keep devices synchronized so all the photos will be in OneDrive camera roll, okay? Google Drive has the photos, Google Drive photos. Okay, iCloud, what's iCloud? Of course, for Mac users, both iPhone and um, MacBook, of course, you have the iCloud. So most likely when you buy an iPhone, your, uh, your profile will be saved on an iCloud. You have to have an iCloud account and so on. So all of this will be syncing on your uh, so if you want to back up anything on your mobile phone, use iCloud. Okay, if not, you have to manually do it on iTunes. But of course, it, ha it has a payment, so I'm not sure if all of you are doing that. Uh, iCloud for Windows should be here. Web only access. Um, sync your iOS devices with a Windows PC, so you can download that application, application on your Windows, the iCloud. Okay, web-only web access, create documents that Mac iOS users can access and work with it. Okay, so you're using iTunes. Okay, iTunes also, not only iCloud, uh, but locally if you want to back up your mobile phone, you can use iTunes. But here, this is cloud. Okay, iCloud. Okay, now we have a Dropbox. Maybe you have heard about this, but it's also from Microsoft. I think before they have the OneDrive, they already bought Dropbox. So it's already there, it's working. A lot of uh, people already use Dropbox. That's why it's still there. But Microsoft bought it and OneDrive is being given to those who are in an organization, in a company. Most likely the target of OneDrive is the company. So Dropbox, before we have this account personal, okay? so. That's why Microsoft bought this company. Okay, so it's the same idea, Dropbox, OneDrive, and so on. Okay, other types of cloud-based application is the modern LMS and the CRM. So what is an LMS learning management system? Okay, so even if you're familiar with Google, uh, sorry, our Moodle, Okay, we try to have the big blue button and we are not hosting that, it's somewhere on the cloud. Okay, we purchase, obtain someone who will host our big blue button meetings. Okay, so runs in the cloud, performs core functions. Uh, of course, a uh, learning management system like Moodle can be run through the cloud. Okay, not only that, uh, our EduWave. EduWave have, has its own learning management system, but we're not using it, but it is also a cloud-based computing. And then CRM, if you're just familiar with this, customer relation management, uh, it can run also to cloud. You can purchase or obtain this, okay? So what do you mean by CRM? Uh, like, for example, co contacting the uh, the customers, um, keeping all the data of the customers so that later on you can send them advertisements and so on and so forth. Okay, what about mobile notifications? Notifications are updates about the activity. Many mobile apps are configured by default to not notify you when there is an activity and so on. So you have a cloud, you've seen already the iCloud that can be a web uh, and applications on your mobile phone. So you can control notifications uh, through this app setting. So you have, um, um, I do not have my OneDrive in on my phone. So 
Do I have it? No, I don't have it. Okay, but it's also the same. So for example, uh, you already sent a shared a file to them. You can be notified if they downloaded the file and so on. Okay, so that's it for cloud computing. And uh, what did we learn? We, we, we tried to discuss, understand, uh, for you to understand the benefits and characteristics of cloud computing. We create and use cloud accounts to store, manage, and share files, describe different types of cloud applications, and configure mobile notifications. So again, uh, we will answer questions in our meeting, okay, virtual lessons, okay? So thank you for watching this. I'm just going to end my uh, presentation. Okay, so thank you for watching lesson number six, cloud computing, and I wish you um, a very nice day, a very nice weekend whenever you want to uh, watch this, and see you again. Ciao.